Volume is all the way. Put the. Yeah. We don't need that. Why do we need one if there's nobody online? True. I don't see the participants. Oh, I want to bring up the speaker. The speaker there he is. Yeah. Two people. I have a exactly your own grid. But when you were asleep, I took it out. It'll do it automatically. I want to make all the All different than them. Um, With you. Also, the speaker to be the primary. Oh, I don't know why Mary's put like that. I just tried to change the view, but it's not coming up. Oh, this is fun. Okay. So we're going to get started. Thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, I'm Jerry Paulson. I'm the uh, current outgoing president of the chapter. And um, as you probably know, we are, we're in the process of putting together a slate of officers and directors for next year, and we have some openings if there's any who are interested in taking on more of a leadership position. Um, we're very soon, uh, we'll be sending out our annual survey to the members uh, where we, uh, we get an opportunity to give feedback on what your favorite programs have been and what you're interested in volunteering for and so forth and so on. Um, but the uh, ballot for the elections won't go out until after the first of the year when we have our slate put, put together. So usually the two go out together, um, but they will be separate mailings this year. And hope you all will participate. Uh, this is our last meeting of the year in our last program. And this has typically been when we do our seed exchange and we have lots of seeds to, to share. And this is a big part of our mission is to get native plants uh, out into the, uh, the local um, landscape. So even if all you have is a little plot by your back door, uh, I can vouch for you that I, I got some um, free butterfly milkweed seeds this year and I and they all came up and they're all planted in my garden uh, next to my hosta plant. So, I mean, we, you can all grow some native, native species. And some of you I know are, are creating whole big areas of prairie and wetland on your property. So uh, take what, what you need to add to that too. Uh, as we'll hear later, we are also, um, We've um, been putting together seeds for a, for a native seed library at the Rock Public Library. We'll be hearing more about that uh, tonight. And we're hoping that maybe some other, um, some of the other libraries might take this up too and we'll be happy to, uh, to help with them. There's all kinds of different kinds of um, bags over there and, and uh, stickers with that you can put them right to the name on so you know what it is you're taking home and um your everything is all over there so please help yourself this is uh this is how we we uh, are able to um, fulfill our mission so uh as i said this is our last meeting this year we don't meet in december but our January meeting, which will be on the 18th of January, will be a special meeting, kind of kicking off the, our 30th anniversary year with a uh, um, speaker who's the 
Um, the new director of the National Land Institute, Alan Branny. But Alan is a landscape architect, a long time uh, <clears throat> a native landscaper. He worked for the Forest Preserve District when they started the Clem Arboretum and he helped put in the, the prairie there at the headquarters and do a lot of other Forest Preserve uh, plantings. And he has two books out. One is called The Midwest Native Plant Primer. And um, the other is called Native Plants of the Midwest, the native plants one we have in our library here. And he's going to be available that night to sign copies of those books and we can order them, you can order them directly through the Natural Land Institute at a 20% discount uh, by using one of these order forms or going on our website and using the order form that's on our website. So the um, Midwest Native Plant Primer is, is only $20 each. And the Midwest plants of the Midwest, uh, the native plants of the Midwest, which is about this thick, right? Jenny, it's a big, thick book, is $40. So um, uh, we're ordering them right through Natural Land Institute because they have, uh, they're able to get them at a discount, discounted rate. And that way you, uh, our members can benefit from the discount. And then he will bring those uh, next January and, and sign them for you. So those are up here. Anybody wants to pick them up? Um, <clears throat> also, this, this is kind of our end of the year um, program. We we like to kind of just thank everybody, all of our uh, volunteers and members who have um, who have done all the work of the chapter over the this last year. The program, people who put the programs together, all of our native plant sale volunteers and coordinators, the people who write articles for the newsletter, put the newsletter together and, and do our membership and all of that. So um, I wanna invite Janet to come up at this time. We have again this year, uh, a special gift certificate for our volunteers who can use this uh, at one of our native plant sales, either the, the prairie plant, the native plant sale in May or our tree and shrub sale in September or October next year. So okay. how you want to do this? Well, I don't want to take the whole evening doing this, but I have everybody who volunteered somewhere in this packet. So during the evening when we're kind of not talking about things, come see me and I will give you your, your certificate. And it's a little different looking this year, just so it looks a little different than last year and has a picture of a monarch butterfly. So mm -hmm. as a $25 certificate, so it's really nice. We can thank you so much. Couldn't really do it without you. That sounds kind of uh no, it's true. <laughs> you know, we're one of the larger chapters uh in the Set, we're now second, we used to be first in the country, and we do a lot of uh, different activities, and it's all done pretty much by volunteers. So we really appreciate your what you do, and thank you. Um, anything else? Any of the officers want to say anything? I'm looking at Linda. She's <laughs> she's putting together a wonderful slate of programs for next year, and I think we still have a couple openings, so if you have some ideas for programs. <laughs> and we're since it is our 30th year uh our july program will be uh, a picnic and tour down at the uh, byron forest preserve which is kind of where we all started and we'll have a, a picnic there and tour of the prairie and some speakers and then during the year, we'll be honoring some of our founding members and our members who have been members for 30 years, <laughs> 25, 30 years. So all of next next year, we'll be, um, we'll be celebrating all the good work that we've done. Can you tell us what positions are still open to be filled? Um, so the president, 
Um, Janet would like to turn over the uh, treasurer's part of the work because she's taken on the plant sale stuff. So that's a lot of work. Or it's not that big, big of a job, but it's. It's just. I would not just step away and say, you're on your own. Right. But, uh, Same here. I'll continue on the board as immediate past president. Um, volunteer coordinator, I think, is another one. Yes. Uh, we're going to have, we're, gonna, we're looking for a new volunteer coordinator. And that's a real important job for the plant sales because we need lots of volunteer for the spring plant sale. It's been a too big fill the position. I mean, we have a database of all of our names, and we have already an established group of volunteers who volunteer at their plant sales. So it's just a matter of the volunteer coordinator contacting these people confirming. and confirming, you know, are you willing to volunteer again this year? Here's a list of shifts that you can, you know, choose. So it isn't really a difficult position, and you, you don't do it all year long. It's just kind of busy. I would say probably beginning, you know, March through the plant sale and then even the tree truck sale. But then we don't need as many volunteers for that. So it's not that difficult. But it is kind of it's I remember when I was first, my little story of being um becoming treasurer, I was we were at the Burpee Museum, that's where we had our meetings. And Shay Lowen, so you know she she and I we had to ready to leave, so we used the bathroom. And as soon as we walked out, we were approached by two board members. And they said, you two will be the new treasurer and the new secretary. <laughs> there were no questions. <laughs> and Shay had already two and secretary. So, so I said, well, I gave them the new treasurer. <laughs> yeah. So now you're now everybody's gonna run out of here as soon as the meeting's <laughs> We don't want to have, it, have to do that, but it's, it's not. It's a it's a fun it's a fun group to work with. So one one of the positions that I want to do, and it's not really an official position, is I'm editor in chief of the newsletter. So our publisher would have you. Uh, so I'm going to do this final sign off on, on newsletters and make the hard decisions about what articles to cut and so forth um, when our uh, editor needs that. So if there's any of you who are like in, into that kind of thing, there's a position that you could volunteer for. And you work with Jesse and she's cool. And yeah, she's she does all the work. You just have to make the hard decisions. Um, and, um, and none of the positions yeah. are without guidelines. We all have created booklets of what we do. On a daily basis, so it's not like you would do this, but we give you something, and then we work with kind of mentor. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Um, with that, we're, we're delighted to have um, our speaker tonight about the new seat uh, library at the Rock Republic Library, and to introduce. Her is Rebe one of our new members, Rebecca. I don't know Rebecca's Thank last you. name. So if you want to stand here so we can record this, make sure, sure that you're getting it's recording. Right? It it's recording. recording. All right. Well, <laughs> hi, I'm Rebecca Benedits. Um, I'm a probably a new face for most of you, except for Kim, because we know each other outside of this. But um, I became a member this spring during the plant sale and volunteered at that um, and planted my own little native plant garden in my backyard. So, um, and why I'm here tonight is to introduce Lara um, and I'll kind of give you a little backstory as to where the seed library kind of why, why it came about, I guess. When I looked back in my emails to see when the idea started and it was in April, 2022. Um, my daughter gets books from the Imagination Library, which is great if you're not familiar with it, uh, Dolly Parton's organization to get books to kids. And she got one called uh, Gwendolyn's Pet Garden. And it's about a little girl who wants a pet, but her parents don't want her to have one. So she gets a garden instead. And there was a note at the end of the book that said that some libraries have seed libraries. And I thought that was a really cool idea. So I started looking around um, to see if there was anything like that in the area. And 
the Beloit library had one. So I reached out to the librarians there and, and I was like, can I come talk to you about this? I think this is really cool. So I met with, I can't remember her name, but someone at the Beloit library there and chatted about it. Um, and I decided, well, if Beloit can have one, then maybe Rockford could have one too. So I just sort of blindly picked someone from the Rockford library and reached out and said, hey, has anyone ever thought about doing a seed library? And that was, yeah, so that was in 2022. And I heard back from someone and then it kind of sat for about a year <laughs> and then I heard back from her again and she connected me with Katie who is in um, the youth department at the library and who was excited about this and so I ended up um, meeting with her um, at the beginning of this year and Laura sat in on that meeting as well and I basically told them what I had learned from Beloit and said I think this would be cool and they said cool can we do it and take this and run with it and I was like yes please do and they did so um if you're curious about doing something in your community, ask, because apparently it can happen when you do. So um, yes, I don't work at the library. I'm just a ordinary citizen that wanted something to happen. So um, Laura can tell you a whole lot more about um, what they're doing. It's not just a native scene library. It's all sorts of different stuff, but um, I'm sure she can answer questions and let you know more about it. So I'm gonna invite Laura up to talk some more. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, so I'm Laura and I work at the Rockwood Public Library for the last year and a half. And um, I'll make sure I'm here. And um, just a little a bit about me. I was never I was not a gardener in the beginning. I was more of a city person. I didn't like nature. And then um, I just started, a friend introduced me to um, Lorette. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's um, in the Pacific Northwest and she was on Instagram and she just showed all her flowers that she was um, growing and they were beautiful and they were different colors. They were different varieties that I had never seen before. And so I just grew in interest with it. And then, um, you know, it, and it was one of those things like you get a seed packet and you try to follow the directions and nothing happens. So I don't know. Um, and I feel like that happens pretty often for people, just that the seed packet says, do this, just put it in the dirt or, or it doesn't even, it, you just throw the seeds and you just hope that something would happen. And I think I did that a few times, but then um, as I continued to like watch on Instagram, like um, Florette, she would tell you exactly what to do for each seed, tell you um, the season, when to start to plant it. And, um, and so then it just started to unlock um, the decode and all those secrets that you think oh, like I never knew that about um, flowers or growing plants. So then um, I think that's part of the reason why um, like during the pandemic, a lot of people just started, it's like you have to be outside um, and you're getting in touch with nature. And it like brought, some, it just, I would say awakened a lot of things in people and and there were resources online and um and I think part of that for me was like okay how do I grow carrots I'll, I'll look it up on YouTube so I started like oh this is way different than what I thought it would be like I didn't know that it had to be um dark for it to actually erupt to come up and um and that certain times of the year is when certain seeds will actually grow. And if you plant them in the wrong time of the year, they're not gonna grow. Um, so, so that kind of started my research. I started finding stuff in the library and then there was a job opening at the library and I was like, I'm so excited to be a part of the library because <laughs> um, I wanna do more research. I wanna learn all these things and have access to all these books for free. So, um, so that was part of it. And then um, come to find out, I'm not the only one at the library who loves to grow things, who loves to, who we're just exchanging 
um, seeds and plants and talking to just other um, staff. And so Katie was one of those people. And so when she said like, oh, I'm meeting with Rebecca about a seed library, I'm like, me too, me too, I wanna come, I wanna come. Um, and so, and actually there were a few more people, but <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> um, so, um, so in that meeting, like, like Rebecca was saying, it was like, okay, let's, let's go ahead and do this. So it was, I think we kicked off in May and that's um, when we just, we just started small. We took some seeds that we already had and we got donations as well. We got some from um, Prairie Moon. Um, and for me, like natives, native plants are new to me. So um, this past year is actually a year for me where I was learning more. And so, um, like even looking through the Prairie Moon catalog, I loved how it was so detailed about what plants will do, where to plant them. And I think that's still like, I love, I like that um, to have that conversation with people. And I think this is one of the places that people can come and have that conversation because it is so hard. It's like um, to be able to, to just hear like, every zone is different. Every microclimate within your backyard is different. So it's like trying to understand and learn how to um, get that seed to grow um, and learning it from other people because everybody has a different way and some methods work for you and some methods don't. So it, it's just and I love that about gardening. It's a trial and error. It's an experiment. Um, it's different every, every season. And so, um, yeah, that's um, part of why we wanted to do the seed library too, is to have give people access to try, to go out there and get seeds and just to plant something. And um, we're also next to, I think the Jeremiah, I forget, it's like they have raised beds right next to us mm -hmm. um, where the heart library is. And so, um, and they just, um, whatever is grown there, anybody who comes by can pick it out for free. They have like zinnias, they have peppers, they have everything. And then we'll even go over there and we'll just um, grab seeds. So um, that's another thing that um, it was, it's nice to have that resource as well. Um, yeah, so as far as the seed library, we started it in May. Um, and we just, um, as we get seeds in, um, Katie, she usually creates envelopes and um, we put them in our little, um, it's almost like a hardware cabinet. And so we'll put um, envelopes with um, maybe 10 to 15 seeds in each, usually a coin envelope. And, um, and that's about, um, and we just tell people through social media and let them know that they're available to take. So we have them from all, like from sunflowers to cucumbers to tomatoes. Um, and we even had someone who um, does native, like they grow their own native seeds and they came in and they even had, a, they talked about native seeds to people who were just coming into the library and she gave them out, which was great too. So. Yeah, so that's just kind of where I, um, how the seed library got started and where I'm at. And yeah, and I'd love to also learn from you too about, um, I, I, I went to the Clem Arboretum, their opening weekend, and I picked up some, I probably picked some up from Wild Ones. I got some Baptisia and some Rattlesnake. Um, and um, I have some the gold ones. I forget what they're called. Golden rod. Yes, golden rod. <laughs> so I have those um, that I'm trying out and i um, going to see how that goes. Hopefully they'll come up next year, which I think they will. Mm -hmm. So Great. Yeah. do you have uh, then resource materials available for how to grow the seeds? We have books. I would, I think in the next year, I would like to have something more we're starting to have pictures of what each seed 
um, what it grows up to be and when to um, plant them. Um, and so that's something that Katie has developed, but I, I would love, I personally would love to have like something like what I've seen in YouTube, just to say exactly when to plant, how to plant it and do a demonstration. So. How do you organize what you put in card catalog or your seed catalog? We just. Alphabetically or by natives or herbs or just whatever. We go through them so fast that <laughs> we just, as soon as we get seeds, we just put them in the, in there. And then it's usually within a week or less, all the seeds are gone. Yeah. Now I've seen some places, because there's a ton of stuff on tons mm -hmm. of libraries doing it, and YouTube videos and stuff. Do you have them sign out that they take? Because I've seen some libraries have people sign out, like I took this, this, and this, so they can see what was popular and maybe where it was planted. I think that's a great idea. Right now we just have an honor system okay. and just we just ask people to take three packets. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, yes. Downers Grove has a seed library, and theirs is a trading situation. So you check out a packet of seeds, and then you're encouraged when you're done with your seeds, and that that's people who are never bring the seeds back. Mm -hmm. And so that way, you know, it, it's, it keeps the relationship with the library, which is good for the library. Oh, yeah. But that's it also allows somebody then to, the spirit of, plant, of having plants is to share uh, yeah. you know, what we have. So, yeah. Remembering it, you can't yes. come back and bring stuff back. It's mm -hmm. kind of a neat idea. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that might be like phase three or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's a pretty simple concept. Yeah. It's like you write a mm -hmm. book. Yeah. I'm checking out these yeah. three things, and then I got to remember at the end of the year, let a couple dry out so I bring the things back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. Have you thought about doing any classes on how to pick seeds or process seeds or actually how to plant in dirt, like little? We did a little bit of a like quick little snippet on harvesting seeds mm -hmm. um, just online. But I think the harder part is um, with the new library coming in, um, we're not sure when we'll be able to start to have okay. classes. And so that's the more difficult part. Um, but it's possible that we could do it at the other branches. It's just the main library that is going to be more difficult to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. How much room do you have for this for the seeds? Um, it's kind of like just like this size, half of this size table, and then a tall little. So all yeah. the drawers have seeds in them. Mm -hmm. It's like those little ones you put the nuts and bolts in. Yes, okay. exactly. Is it a card catalog? Yeah, but we have uh, certainly lots of expertise and, and uh, resources available. I mentioned we have our own uh, lending library, and Jenny um, Watson is in charge of that. She's an excellent librarian. And, uh, and so we'd be happy to share anything oh, like awesome. that with you. And uh, we, you know, there may be some pamphlets over there you might want to take a uh, look at. But actually, the Prairie Moon catalog is probably the best oh, yeah. right. mm -hmm. to have. Yeah. We always used to get extras of those and hand them out. Just it's online, I think. Yeah. 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 To get so many of my artists, mm -hmm. if you go look up an artist, yeah. yeah. So it's right. So you just gave them the URL. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea, too. And I think we have some little slips over there. Yeah. I can some explain of that those out there. Well, thank you. We're so glad we can help out with this. And if it, you know, really work, uh, this may be a model for other chapters to mm -hmm. work with our local library. So you ask for your joy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We need memberships to give away, so if you're interested, in I will take it. <laughs> what are the names of the worker on that free membership? That's, that will help recruit it too. So you can go along with your RL. Yeah. 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 If I understand, you do take other kinds of art as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
cut flowers, mm -hmm. herbs, right? Anything Correct. and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dill. It looks like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any requirements that people want to donate, like for how? recent like what year the seeds are from or anything like that because I know I have probably um, some packets of seeds that are older. At, at this time we don't okay. but it is something to think about but I guess it also depends on the seed yeah, so. Okay. Do you hit up the hardware stores at the end of the year and ask for their seeds? No oh, but like, yeah. Like Ace hardware and stuff? Yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll write it off as donation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they're good for a year or two or three. Mm -hmm. Well, great. So we have lots of seeds for okay. people to take. Uh, they won't go to waste. Here. Do you want to use the bag for the library? Oh, yeah. Do you want to take a picture? Maybe I'm reading off. Hold up some seeds. These are the ones that have already been um, put together. With the names and everything on. Yeah, we sell more. Work out the bar. Gives you so. All right, smile. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Then again, the star. <laughs> and we may have some that we'll bring you later. Yeah, Rebecca, thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> So that concludes our program for tonight. Those who are here, um, well, please help yourself to some refreshments and pick up your order forms for the books and volunteer and, uh, and exchange seeds. That's what we're all about. So we're here for all. We have a whole other hour that you can hang out and pick up your uh, gift certificates from Janet. Oh, that's me. And